Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you install a universal blower motor in your furnace, first turn off the power to the furnace. Use a flathead screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the upper access panel, and remove the panel. Next, unthread the screws to release the lower access panel. Release the spring clamps securing the drain trap hoses to the collection box and exhaust pipe and pull the hoses free. Remove the drain hose as well. Next, remove the screws securing the drain trap mounting bracket. Remove the drain trap assembly. Note the orientation of the thermostat wires connected to the control board, then loosen the screws to disconnect them. Cut the zip tie securing the wire harnesses. Now unthread the screws securing the blower assembly support rails. Carefully slide the assembly out. Use an adjustable wrench to loosen the blower wheel set screw. Now set the blower assembly on its side. Note the orientation of the motor wires connected to the control board. Then disconnect them. To ensure the run capacitor is discharged, place a screwdriver with an insulated handle across the terminals. Now disconnect the capacitor wires and remove the screw to release the grounding wire. Note the orientation of the blower motor, then use a 3 8 inch socket to unthread the motor bracket mounting screws. Lift off the old motor and bracket assembly. This may require some effort. Cut the zip tie securing the wires to the support arm. Note the position of the bracket in relation to the wires and measure the distance between the bracket and the shaft end of the motor. Secure the nut with a wrench and use a 7 16th inch socket to loosen the bolt to release the old motor from the bracket assembly. Remove the support arms and slide off the bracket. Before you install the universal blower motor, confirm that the motor's capacitor rating matches the existing run capacitor. If not, you will need to replace the capacitor with the required one. You should also confirm which direction the old motor rotates. On this model, the motor rotates counterclockwise. For this installation, you will need to cut off the motor mounting posts to prevent them from interfering with the blower wheel.
Now insert the motor into the mounting bracket. Align the motor wires with the hole in the bracket and insert the support arms. Make sure the shaft end of the motor is the correct distance from the bracket. Then tighten the nut and bolt to secure. In some applications, you may need to cut the motor shaft to shorten the length. Now insert the shaft into the blower wheel as you position the support arms on the housing. Rethread and tighten the mounting screws. Connect the brown wires to the terminals on the capacitor. You will need to attach terminal connectors to the ends of the neutral and speed wires. Refer to your product's wiring diagram to determine where the wires should be connected on the control board. For this model, the neutral yellow wire should be connected to the neutral terminal. The medium speed blue wire connects to the hot terminal. The high speed black wire connects to the cool terminal. The inactive red wire can be connected to either of the inactive terminals on the board labeled M1 and M2. Secure the grounding wire as well. To ensure the new motor rotates counterclockwise, the purple directional wire should be connected to the yellow wire and the orange should be connected to the brown. If you need to reverse the rotation, the purple wire should be connected to the orange and the yellow wire should be connected to the brown. Secure the wires to the support arm using a zip tie. Return the blower assembly to its upright position. Center the blower wheel in the housing. Align the set screw with the flat side of the motor shaft and tighten the set screw. Now realign the blower assembly support rails on the slides and push the assembly into place. Rethread the screws to secure. Reconnect the thermostat wires. Use a zip tie to remove any slack in the wire harnesses. Reposition the drain trap assembly in the cabinet and rethread the screws to secure the mounting bracket. Reattach the hoses to the appropriate ports on the collection box and exhaust pipe. Secure with the clamps as necessary. Reattach the drain hose as well. Realign the lower access panel and rethread the screws.
Realign the upper access panel and secure it with the screws. With the repair completed, turn the power supply back on and your furnace should be ready for use.